I have a quote that I want to read about forgiveness, which will help us get on the same page. The quote goes like this. The quote comes from my book, Care Package, A Path to Deep Healing. I have forgiven everyone who has caused me pain. Most of them haven't apologized. I'm forgiving them because my healing is more important than me holding a grudge, which is more suffering. If I'm being completely honest with you, I 100 million percent believe in this quote. I have forgiven people who have caused me pain. The reason that I've chosen to forgive them is because I do not want to hold a grudge. I do not want to be angry with anyone. I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to carry uh, negative energy towards anyone. So anyone in my life who has caused me any type of pain, I have forgiven them, even if they haven't apologized. And forgiving them frees me. Forgiving them lets me get out of that pain. It lets me get out of that cycle. Now, that's from the Care Package book. If you want to read the book, Amazon.com, SylvesterMcNutt.net. I want to read to you some of the passages from the book. Learning to forgive so you can heal. Bitter people will say that the person who hurt them doesn't deserve to be forgiven. If you believe that, you will suffer forever just like they do. It will not be easy to forgive people. We do not practice forgiveness. We practice holding on to pain. That's the main problem that we have, is that growing up, we were never taught forgiveness. So now we are adults who don't realize that forgiving people is a natural part of healing. Forgiving yourself, having compassion for yourself is a natural part of healing. See, we weren't taught that as children, so we don't realize that as adults, forgiveness and compassion are two of the biggest components of healing and being happy. I have compassion for myself so I can forgive myself for mistakes that I have made because I can love myself even though I have made mistakes. I can also have compassion for you because you hurt me. Just because I have compassion for you, that doesn't mean I keep going back to you. That doesn't mean I keep surrounding myself with you. It means, you know what? You hurt me and I'm able to forgive you for hurting me. Now that I've forgiven you, I have the power to change my decisions. Maybe I don't have to be around you. Or maybe I change how I'm around you. Or maybe I change the access I give you to me. Or maybe I change the access I give you to, to my emotions. See, that's what happens when you deal with compassion and heal, or, or compassion and forgiveness. You heal deeply. This is what I'm talking to you about. This is all from the Care Package book, Care Package, A Path to Deep Healing. We practice reinforcing our egos, and that traps the pain and keeps the cycles going. Forgiveness is the key to breaking the chains of pain that stay locked around your neck. I said we we practice reinforcing our egos and that traps the pain and keeps the cycle going. Forgiveness is the key to breaking the chains of pain that stay locked around your neck. First, you have to stop living with your sense of entitlement, your sense of ego. You feel like the world owes you everything. Every explanation and every action should be in your favor. This is your ego. That's laughable at best. Keeping that mindset will forever enslave you to your pain. Once you accept that nobody owes you anything, which is you freeing your ego, then you can forgive the people who have hurt you. Holding on to pain is a choice, and once you choose to heal, you choose to forgive the people who brought you the pain. This is a process, not a light switch. It is hard because it is the opposite of what we have been taught. Be ready for the challenge because you can do it. You can forgive people who have caused you pain. It is a process, not a light switch. It may not happen like that. But if you consciously tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to forgive that person for what they did because they don't know who they are. They don't know the power of their actions. They don't know. So you know what? I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to be very mindful with what I'm saying. 
I'm not saying dismiss people's poor behavior and act like people's poor behavior doesn't exist and give people ninth and tenth chances to hurt you the same way they've already hurt you eight times before. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you need to develop healthy boundaries with people. And when you develop the healthy boundaries with people and you understand that this person is toxic or dangerous or not for me and I'm going to go ahead and protect myself from this person, now I can forgive them. Forgiveness does not mean I'm going to keep giving you opportunity to ruin in my life. I'm not going to keep giving you a chance to impact my life in a negative way. That's not what forgiveness means. Forgiveness also comes with setting boundaries. You're not good for me. So I distance myself from you. You're not good for me. No bueno. This is all in the care package book. <laughs> you guys, I love you. That's all you need to hear today. You're loved, okay? Healing is a process, not a light switch. Don't feel like you will heal in one day. For most of us, it takes years to heal. It has taken me years to heal. I had to deal with a lot of childhood pain. My mom was an emotionally unavailable, narcissistic woman. My father was a physically abusive, combative, violent, aggressive, and angry man. Both of them were alcoholics. I had to deal with a lot of childhood pain. The quote says, healing is a process, not a light switch. Don't feel like you will heal in one day. For most of us, it takes years. It took me at least a decade. So if you think you're going to heal in one day, no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. But you will get through it. And you will overcome. And you will heal. And you will be a whole different human being. But you just have to keep fighting. Allowing I'm sorry, allow your healing process to flow at an organic pace. You cannot rush or expect to be over pain instantly. It takes time. Be patient with yourself and trust that you will get better. Did you hear what I just read to you? Allow your healing process to flow at an organic pace. You cannot rush or expect to be over pain instantly. It takes time. Be patient with yourself and trust that you will get better. Be patient with yourself. You will get better. You deserve love. You deserve compassion. Forgiving someone doesn't mean you're allowing them to come back. It means you're choosing to let go of the pain they once brought. Forgiving someone doesn't mean you're allowing them to come back. It means you're choosing to let go of the pain they once brought. This episode is going to end right here. I've given you a lot of words and thoughts and ideas on healing, how to deal with the ups and downs of life. Forgiveness is a part of it. Compassion is a part of it. Make sure that as you're struggling in life or dealing with little struggles, you keep patience and you keep compassion. Those are the two most important things. Patience is going to allow you to stay focused and it's going to allow you to realize that you don't have to fix it right now. You don't have to be over it right now. It's okay to not be over it. It's okay to still be dealing with it. It's okay to still be managing problems. Don't think that you have to have all your problems figured out. Don't think that you have to have life figured out. If you're struggling, if you're going through it, just give yourself patience. That's all you need. Patience to know I will get through this moment. Patience to know that I'm strong enough to get through this moment. Have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for the people you love. Have compassion for people that you see that you're judging everywhere you go. Have compassion for yourself. The thoughts that you have, you're beating yourself up, telling yourself you're unworthy of healing. Don't do that. Have compassion for yourself. You are worthy of healing. You are worthy of patience. You are worthy of love. You do have to remember this. You do have to believe this. You are free. You are already free. Your energy is already free. It is just us getting there together as two friends, as two people walking on a journey. At the beginning of this podcast, I introspected with you stories about what I'm dealing with and what I'm going through to show you that no person is perfect, that no person has it all together. 
No person that you follow on social media has all of their life together. Every single human being has some type of struggle, has some type of problem, has something to overcome. So if you are struggling, first understand that you are not alone in your struggles because we all have inner beasts and demons that we are trying to fight and trying to overcome. Second, have compassion for yourself and for your fellow man. Third, be patient as you heal because it will take time. It is a process, not a light switch. You are free, my friends. Free your energy.